Animal adventurers, imagine trekking through the rainforests of Southeast Asia, the air alive with jungle sounds. Suddenly, a long slender shape launches from the canopy, not a bird, but a flying snake. These real-life gliders, from the genus, soar from tree to tree without wings, using their bodies to catch the air. Found across Southeast Asia, India, Sri Lanka, and Southern China, they're a stunning example of evolution's creativity. For flying snakes, the sky is a shortcut, a way to escape predators and hunt where others can't reach. Watching one glide is breathtaking. It shatters everything you thought you knew about snakes. Most slither or swim, but these snakes climb, slither, and soar. Today we'll dive into their world, how they glide, what they eat, where they live, and the five species that make up this remarkable family. Get ready to discover one of the animal kingdom's most jaw-dropping secrets. Let's uncover the wonders of these amazing gliding reptiles. So, what exactly is a flying snake? At first glance the idea of a snake soaring through the air might sound like something out of a fantasy novel, but these remarkable reptiles are very real, and their aerial abilities are truly astonishing. Despite the name, they don't truly fly like birds or bats. They glide, using the air to travel impressive distances between trees. Using a controlled fall, they launch themselves from high branches, flattening and undulating their bodies to travel horizontally through the air, sometimes covering distances of up to 100 feet in a single glide. These snakes belong to the Chrysopelia genus, a fascinating group of mildly venomous slender snakes in the Colubridae family, found primarily in Southeast Asia. Their venom is harmless to humans, but perfect for their small prey, such as lizards, frogs, birds, and even bats, which they hunt with remarkable agility. Their unique hunting style combined with their gliding skills makes them formidable predators in the treetops. Unlike most snakes, flying snakes evolved to master the treetops, gliding between branches to avoid ground predators and to move efficiently through their dense forest homes. Their bodies are lightweight and streamlined, built for life in the air, with ribs that can expand to create a concave shape, increasing lift as they glide. Every part of their anatomy, from their narrow aerodynamic heads to their long, flexible tails, is designed for gliding and maneuvering with precision. Arboreal by nature, they spend nearly all their time in the canopy, expertly camouflaged among leaves and branches, rarely descending to the forest floor. Their gliding unlocks access to food, mates, and safety high above the forest floor, allowing them to thrive in a world where few other snakes can compete. Scientists are still unraveling the physics behind their graceful glides, a blend of biology, physics, and athletic skill that challenges our understanding of animal movement. These snakes aren't just falling, they're true pilots, steering with precision by twisting and turning their bodies mid-air, even making sharp turns to avoid obstacles. Their unique movement makes them a fascinating subject for biomechanics, inspiring engineers and scientists to study their gliding techniques for potential applications in robotics and aerial technology. The flying snake is a living marvel of nature's engineering, a testament to the incredible adaptations that life can evolve in the quest to survive and thrive in the treetops. Up close, flying snakes are truly striking creatures. Their bodies are adorned with vivid greens, yellows, and reds, creating a mesmerizing pattern that not only catches the eye, but also serves a vital purpose. These brilliant colors help them blend seamlessly into the dense rainforest canopy where sunlight filters through leaves and creates a mosaic of shifting hues. This natural camouflage is their first line of defense against predators, allowing them to remain hidden in plain sight. Take the paradise tree snake, for example, its bright green scales are dotted with orange or red spots, a perfect match for the vibrant leaves and flowers of its tropical home. This coloration not only helps it avoid detection by predators, but also allows it to sneak up on unsuspecting prey. The snake's ability to disappear among the foliage is a testament to the power of natural selection. Most flying snakes measure between 2 and 4 feet in length, but what's truly remarkable is how incredibly lightweight they are. Their bodies are built for agility and speed, making them ideal for gliding from tree to tree. This lightweight build means they can launch themselves into the air with ease, covering impressive distances in a single glide. Their slender, ribbon-like bodies and distinct, flattened heads give them a unique aerodynamic edge. This streamlined shape reduces air resistance and helps them maneuver gracefully through the forest, twisting and turning mid-air to avoid obstacles. Large, prominent eyes dominate their heads, providing excellent vision. 
This sharp eyesight is crucial for judging distances, spotting potential landing branches, and detecting both prey and predators from afar. Their keen vision allows them to carefully plan each glide, scanning their surroundings and calculating the safest and most efficient path through the trees. This ability to anticipate and avoid obstacles is essential for survival in the complex three-dimensional world of the rainforest canopy. When preparing to glide, flying snakes perform a remarkable transformation. They splay their ribs outward, flattening their bodies from a round shape to a distinctive U-shaped cross-section. This adaptation is key to their gliding ability. This unique, flattened shape acts much like a parachute, generating lift and allowing them to glide smoothly through the air instead of simply falling. In slow motion you can see how their bodies undulate and adjust mid-flight, steering with precision. Their expert camouflage, lightweight build and keen vision all work together, making flying snakes perfectly adapted for life high in the treetops, where danger and opportunity are everywhere. Every feature, from their dazzling colors to their unique body shape, serves as a survival tool, honed by millions of years of evolution to help them thrive in their challenging environment. The flying snake's appearance is a true masterclass in adaptation, a living example of how form and function come together in the natural world to create something extraordinary. How does a wingless snake glide? It almost seems impossible at first glance, a creature with no wings, no limbs, and no obvious means of flight, yet somehow it soars effortlessly between the trees. The answer lies in a remarkable set of adaptations that turn this snake into a living glider. It's all about body shape, flexibility, and a bit of physics. Before launching, the snake flattens its body by rotating its ribs outward, transforming its normally round profile into a wide, concave surface. This action is almost like turning itself into a living ribbon, maximizing the area that can interact with the air. This U-shaped profile is crucial. It lets air flow faster over the top and slower underneath, generating lift, just like an airplane wing. The snake's body essentially becomes its own airfoil, allowing it to stay aloft. But there's more to the story. As it glides, the snake undulates in an S-shape, a motion unique to aerial travel. This isn't just for show. The undulation helps stabilize the snake, keeping it from spinning or tumbling out of control. This rhythmic movement acts like a built-in stabilizer, allowing the snake to adjust its trajectory mid-flight. It can even subtly change direction or slow its descent, making each glide more controlled and efficient. Thanks to these adaptations, flying snakes can glide up to 100 meters in a single leap, about the length of a football field. That's an incredible distance for an animal with no wings. Their glide ratio actually outperforms many other gliding animals, such as flying squirrels or lizards, and they can reach impressive speeds of up to 25 miles per hour as they soar through the forest canopy. Steering is another marvel. By twisting and flicking their tails like rudders, flying snakes can make sharp turns, avoid obstacles, and land with pinpoint accuracy on distant branches. The combination of body flattening, S-shaped undulation, and agile tail steering makes them true masters of the air capable of complex aerial maneuvers that rival even some birds. It's a stunning example of biological engineering where evolution has crafted a glider from the most unlikely of creatures. Every glide is not just a spectacle but a vital tool for survival, helping the snake escape predators, hunt prey, and move efficiently through its dense forest home. With every flight, nature's ingenuity is on full display, reminding us of the endless possibilities evolution can create. The flying snake's journey starts with a calculated launch. It slithers to the branch's edge, dangles and surveys its landing target with sharp vision. With a burst it propels itself outward, forming a J-shape for takeoff. Instantly, it flattens its body, catching the air and beginning its glide. The snake undulates in an S-shape, generating momentum and maintaining lift. It's not just drifting, the snake actively pilots, adjusting its body and tail to steer. Mid-air, it can turn, dodge obstacles, and aim for a precise landing spot. As it nears its target, the snake pulls up, slowing down for a gentle landing. It wraps around the branch, securing itself in seconds. The entire process, from launch to landing, is a display of athleticism and control. Gliding isn't just movement, it's a survival strategy. Each flight is a calculated, skillful maneuver. The flying snake is a true aerial acrobat. Flying snakes are canopy specialists, thriving in the rainforests of Southeast Asia, India, Sri Lanka, and Southern China. They need tall trees, dense canopies, and abundant prey, perfect conditions for gliding. Active during the day, 
they rely on sharp vision to hunt and navigate. Their gliding lets them cover territory efficiently, avoiding predators on the forest floor. They're solitary, coming together only to mate. Surprisingly adaptable, flying snakes can also be found in plantations and gardens if enough trees are present. However, deforestation threatens their treetop highways and survival. Protecting their habitat is crucial for their future. Flying snakes are carnivores, hunting small animals in the treetops. They're main prey lizards, especially geckos and agamids, but they'll also eat frogs, rodents, bats, and bird eggs. Using camouflage, they stalk and ambush prey with lightning-fast strikes. Their mild venom delivered by rear fangs quickly subdues small animals, harmless to humans but deadly to prey. Sometimes they snatch bats mid-air or raid bird nests for eggs and hatchlings. Gliding helps them hunt, allowing surprise attacks from above or quick moves between hunting grounds. If one tree is empty, they simply glide to the next. This efficiency makes them formidable predators in the canopy. Their varied diet ensures survival in a competitive environment. The flying snake's hunting strategy is as innovative as its flight. The genus includes five spectacular species, each with unique traits and ranges. The paradise tree snake is the most famous, bright green with red or orange spots, and the most skilled glider. The golden tree snake is the largest, found from India to Southeast Asia, often in gardens and plantations. The banded flying tree snake is the smallest and rarest, with bold black bands over a reddish or tan body. The Moluccan flying snake is native to Indonesia's islands, blending in with gray or brown banding. The Sri Lankan flying snake is greenish yellow with black cross bands and red or orange spots. All five share the remarkable ability to glide, but each is a unique marvel of adaptation. Together they showcase the diversity and ingenuity of nature. Flying snakes are a testament to evolution's creativity, real animals that turned falling into flight. Their vibrant colors, keen eyes, and unique bodies are all lessons in adaptation. They remind us that nature is full of surprises, and there's always more to discover. As predators, they help balance rainforest ecosystems, symbolizing the rich biodiversity of Southeast Asia's treetops. Protecting their forests means preserving countless species, not just the flying snake. Next time you think of snakes, remember the one that learned to fly. Let their story inspire curiosity and respect for the natural world. The flying snake is a gravity-defying wonder, a wildlife indeed.